Welcome students. In this quick video, we're going to explain how you join and use a Zoom meeting so you are prepared for online learning at CBC. To begin, find your Zoom link. Your instructor will either post the Zoom meeting in Canvas or email you the link. If a Zoom meeting is located in Canvas, you can find it by logging into your Canvas class. If a Zoom link is available, you'll see it display. Click on the Zoom link and you will see upcoming meetings. Here you can find the meeting you want to attend and click join. If you do not see the link you're looking for, then please check your student email for the link. Using this information, navigate to the URL using a web browser. While you can use the Zoom app on your mobile device and cellular connection, you will get the best performance from a laptop or home computer and home internet connection in Zoom. If you don't have a computer or Wi-Fi, please reach out to CBC's library at library at columbiabasin.edu and request a laptop and or a hotspot for Wi-Fi connection. In your email, please include your contact information and your student identification number. If a device is available, you will receive a confirmation email from library staff detailing the pickup process. If you experience issues with internet connectivity, don't give up. You can call into the meeting from your phone using the phone number provided in the Zoom invitation. Once the meeting page loads, you'll be prompted to download and run Zoom. Save this file to your computer and follow the setup instructions on the screen. Once Zoom has successfully installed, your meeting will launch. If the client does not work properly, click on the link at the bottom of the page to run the lighter version of the Zoom meeting from your browser. Once the meeting launches, you'll be asked to connect to the meeting audio. Select if you would like to connect with your phone or with your computer microphone and speakers. If you choose to connect with your computer, we recommend testing your mic and speakers using the testing tool provided. As always, please use a headset or headphones in order to help avoid audio feedback. Once your audio is connected, you can mute or unmute yourself at any time by clicking the microphone button at the bottom of the screen. We recommend muting your mic if you're not speaking to help avoid any audio issues for the rest of the meeting participants. To start sharing your camera, click on the video button at the bottom of the screen. You can also stop sharing your camera by clicking on this button. Once the meeting has started, you'll have some control over what you see. You can view everyone's camera and speaker view, which highlights the active speaker as the largest screen, or switch to gallery view. Gallery view shows all the cameras on one screen and highlights the active speaker with a border around their screen. You can also click on the full screen button to maximize the viewing space. Along the bottom of the meeting room are some additional options you may find handy. The first is the participants list, which will show you who else is in the meeting. There's also the chat option, which lets you send messages to other users in the meeting. Clicking on the chat option brings up the chat panel. This can be helpful if you're having technology issues or want to ask a question without interrupting the current speaker. And that's it. If you have any questions or concerns, please contact our student help desk at shelp at columbiabasin.edu or 509-543-1445.